Less than two weeks before Election Day, Madison already set a voting record for most absentee ballots issued and received in a presidential election. Keely Arthur takes a closer look at participation rates around the state. It's not even November yet, but a lot of people can say they've already voted. These are just a few of the 4,700 people who have already cast their ballot right here at Sequoia Library. Was voting easy, Olivia? With a toddler in tow, Anna Fullman has her hands full. Having a toddler makes it pretty hard to get to things on, on, uh, on time. But with Madison Public Libraries open for in-person absentee voting for the first time ever, even she was able to take a moment to vote. It made it very convenient to come here and vote and then have her go look at the books and play in the kids area. This city is committed to access to the ballot box for everyone. City of Madison officials say the additional polls are a big reason the city's cast more than 26,000 in-person absentee ballots so far. I would not be surprised if we had 40,000 absentee ballots cast in person. We've broken every record that we've had previously as a city for absentee ballots. Madison is far from the only city seeing high participation. City clerks in Middleton, Verona, Sun Prairie, and McFarland have all reported an above average percentage of ballots issued. Which is why Dane County is ahead as well, with more than 51,000 ballots issued as of Wednesday. In the 2012 presidential election, around 82,000 ballots were issued total. County clerk Scott McDonald says if things stay on track, the countywide record will break too. But the numbers paint a different story in the GOP-heavy WOW counties. For example, Waukesha has a total of more than 35,000 ballots issued. More than 100,000 additional ballots are needed to even come close to the 2012 turnout. But it's important to note early voting only began there on Monday. Our early voting, uh, in-person early voting process has always been in this two-week period, so we're very familiar with that. The Madison and Milwaukee areas have had close to a month to really generate those numbers. So we have no doubt that we'll be catching up with them very soon. Catching up to voters in Madison who say voting in this election is more important than anything. And she likes to come for the sticker, so <laughs> it's a win-win. For the most up-to-date information on when and where to vote, go to channel3000.com. In Madison, Keely Arthur, WISC News 3. Statewide voters have requested nearly 328,000 ballots. That's about half of the 2012 total. Dane County's portion is 13% of that. Waukesha is 9%.